I have come here to the central plains of China to the town, the sprawling town of Zhengzhou, Henan. It's a city of about 10 to 15 million people that most people in the West have never heard of. Why did I come here? Well, I came here for this. I came here to see this in action. If you follow my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of anything uh, vehicle, anything manufacturing, anything that'll just shock the senses with technology. I'm at the Yutong Industrial Park. This is one of the largest employers in the city of Zhengzhou. They have over 40,000 employees worldwide. Founded in 1963, they sell in over 30 countries around the world on six continents. They build over a hundred different models of buses. They make everything from these big coaches to smaller city buses to school buses to RVs, dump trucks and construction vehicles. 70,000 units sold last year. 40% of that was new energy vehicles. 5% of their total turnover goes into R&D with a dedicated staff of over 3,000. They are leaders in 5G autonomous driving. Here in the city of Zhengzhou, they have over two and a half million square meters. This facility here is one of the largest factories in the world. In fact, I think it's the largest bus factory in the world. Their production factory has over 15 dedicated physical production lines. They're turning out more than 440 units per day at a rate of one every 18 minutes. If you want to customize bus that'll take three weeks from beginning to end. And one of the most fun things about this place is they got a proving ground here, which is one of the largest in the industry. For a company that has 35% of the domestic bus market here in China and 13% worldwide, this is quite a treat that I'm going to get access to this factory. I'm really excited. This is Yutong. What's in a bus? I mean, really, buses aren't really the sexiest thing in the world, but I think that's going to change. When it comes to the green revolution and the future of mobility in cities, Teslas are important, but these are more important. When you think about the pollutants that go into the air from cars, other kinds of vehicles in a city, things come to mind. You know, the big trucks, obviously, your own personal car and the city buses. We're seeing a green revolution in buses, not just with natural gas, but with hybrid and fully electric buses too. I remember when I was a child and I would go off to summer camp and a big giant coach would pick us up and take us into the mountains. And I remember that first feeling of getting on the coach and looking around, this is like 30 years ago, and going, wow, look at, look at this bus. I mean, it's, it's big, it's comfortable, it's got televisions, we can watch a movie. Buses have come a long way since then. In the city, I've ridden buses my whole life. Sometimes because it's more convenient, other times because it's all I can afford. <laughs> you know, walking onto this campus, I feel like I'm not walking onto a bus factory. I feel like I'm walking onto like some kind of modern technology campus you might see in like Silicon Valley or something. It's quite impressive. You know, green avenues. I mean, this place is huge. It's it's like multiple super blocks in the city itself. And connecting it all are these autonomous 5G buses that are running everywhere. This is unlike any manufacturing facility I have ever been to. They've got two versions of the bus running around on this campus. The black ones are the older ones. The blue ones are the newer ones. This thing's gonna come pick us up and take us to the next stop, which could be miles from here. <laughs> this place is huge. These seats are really comfortable. This is unlike any bus I've ever been in. This is how they get around the campus. Yeah. That's it. First stop today is the chassis workshop. Wow. Just on this one station alone, I count one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve workers just on this one station, on this one bus, working feverishly, going about their job. Incredible. This is just one of the dedicated production lines that they have for all the different models that they, they make here. As we move down the production line, little by little, more and more components are being added to these buses. This is a phenomenal sight to see. These things are massive. This isn't like a small little Toyota Corolla being built. These are enormous, public transportation vehicles. Production management, every little bolt, nut, and screw you can think of. They come out of here, and they go into here. Wow, air fans are everywhere to keep it nice and cool in here, because it's really hot outside. It's air conditioning, obviously, but then they have these huge fans for the workers. So as we move further down the the, the production line, you can see it's becoming more and more, like I said, they've added the windows. This gentleman here looks like he's adding the, the rear view mirrors. A lot, some of the interior components are being added. The railings and stuff like this. There are a lot more workers on this one, man. That's got about 30 different workers just on this one bus on this massive assembly line. The complexity of all of this stuff is beyond me. Over here, these are the, these are the seats manufactured in another part. Oh, it's amazing how fast these guys work. They work really fast. Look at the teamwork in here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys all working on this one, one plus two over here. Incredible amount of teamwork putting this thing together. Impressive. All waiting to put the, the driver's chair in. I can't tell you the level of access I'm being given on this line. It's truly incredible. Putting the finishing touches on the interiors here. You can see here, these buses, they move along this cable, this conveyor belt here. Very efficient. Just this one little conveyor belt will move the buses down the line. And then out the door. Last minute inspections, installations. And here's a, uh, a coach. This is a little different model, but it's one that is getting ready to come off the assembly line. This line is one of their smaller production buses. If you've ridden on a bus in China, you know these buses well. In incredible amount of teamwork. So this is one of their massive you know, long distance coaches. I've ridden on these before. These things are big. Let's see if I can get a better look at this one. Uh, it's got that new bus smell. I'm literally running all over this factory. As you can see, I have full access to the entire floor. I can walk around, I can peek in, I can ask questions. Moving from this section down here and getting ready to go to this section over here. You can see this is what a bus looks like before any of the internals are put in. This one is getting ready for final assembly. This is just the chassis. This is a, this is a natural gas bus, it looks like. So they, they're making natural gas. They've got electric over there, all different kinds of buses. So this is an interesting part of the factory. We already saw the finished products down there. I've walked to the other end where they begin on this floor and it's Essentially, it's like three football fields. I mean, this thing goes on and on and on. This is huge. But right here, you've got them finishing up the, the chassis, and then they've got this, addition to the regular conveyor belts that go down the line, they got this one that can transfer the buses to the different lines. On this side over here, this is all painting. 
Oh, I see it over there. Yeah, way over there you can see the painting. It looks like they've got welders welding the exterior together, putting some interior panels on. You know, you're around buses your whole life. You've seen the good, the bad, the ugly. You've seen old ones, you've seen new ones. But to see these being built from scratch to the finished product is fascinating. I don't think I'll ever look at a bus the same way again. <laughs> now here's what some of the other products that Utong makes. They make RVs, school buses. If you've been to an airport, you know this is like the the flight line vehicles that take passengers off the planes, street sweepers, cement trucks, trailer rigs. Look at this giant thing. Oh my God. This giant dump truck. Huh. That is a specialty vehicle if you ever saw one. Wow. And look at this. They even make these tiny little ones. Look at this. So now I'm in this like air conditioned catwalk between the painting bays. This is the painting section. Um, I'm told that there are no buses being painted today, unfortunately, but we can look down and see the facilities and they're quite impressive. So behind me, these are the chemical dipping bays. It's to keep things from getting corroded and stuff like that. They're actually not dipping anything today. I was told that ahead of time, but I have seen video of them doing this. There's so many different dips to treat the, all the steel and metal components throughout the chassis, and it's huge. Now, this is a very large part of what Yutong does for their buses. They're very proud of this, and they want to promote it a lot of the durability of their product. This is very capital intensive. The chemicals, paint, facility, all the things needed to do this, it really shows the level that uh, Yutong puts into their, into their product. Some new driverless technology. The R&D team following them. What a treat, what a treat to see the R&D group. And then back on the 5G bus to take us to the next spot. So here, this is the proving ground here at the factory. You can see here it says, don't consider the market as a test ground. Consider the test ground as the market. I love that. Nice little edits in this job. Oh, look at this thing going through. Look at this thing going through real fast. Whoa. So this is a high speed and then they bank it. It's banked along the side like a, like a racetrack. All right, so now I'm gonna get to ride on one of these buses as it goes around that bend. I didn't think they were gonna let me do this, but they're gonna let me do it. I'm on a brand new bus right off the assembly line in the testing phase. I think they just went through the, the water submersion test. All right, here we go. Speeding up now. <laughs> Up to 70 kilometers per hour, it's going to hit this bank. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's quite a bank. You get pushed into this seat, man. <laughs> All right. So they're testing everything, the, the structural integrity, um, the ride quality, the suspension, the noise all of that on these tests. Oh, I get some angle on this electric bus and it sends your head back. Oh my goodness. It really sends you back. <laughs> Next is the rough road test, uneven roads. This is testing the flexibility of the chassis and the suspension, uh, suspension travel. Not the fun part. <laughs> So what's in a bus? Is it just a box on wheels? You know, over the last couple of days, I've had free reign to answer this question. I was like a kid in a candy store. People had to catch up with me. 
As I ran from here to here, I was able to ask as many questions as I wanted. I was able to talk with as many people as I wanted, film whatever I wanted, to try to discover what it is about a bus. I have been around the world exposed to organizations, businesses, and I've seen the best of them. And what I saw over the last couple of days at Yutong blew me away. It was all the people. It was the smiles, the teamwork, the mission, the vision for the future. All of this combined, it really taught me a lesson. A lesson that I have spent the last couple of years being exposed to and learning. And I learned a little bit more of that lesson over the last couple of days. Community. Community is important everywhere you go. And I'm no stranger to that. However, it has really hit home over the last few years during my life and my journey and my experiences here in this beautiful country. And Yutong is a microcosm of that lesson. A bus is more than just a box on wheels. It's a community. Thank you, Yutong, for teaching me this lesson again. Yeah.